What's up guys? So back with another video. I picked up a few of these. They're UV local, local glue tempered glass screen protectors for this Galaxy S9 Plus. Picked them up on eBay. Let's see. Let's pull it up. They're $8.85 each. They're shipped from the U.S. And it's not pretty bad pricing compared, you know, like if you were going to do white stones, which I always talk about. This one's about, about 50 bucks, you know, $45, 50 bucks. I'm going to see how it compares. I'm really only going to change mine because it, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it cracked in that upper corner. I guess this case didn't protect it or, you know, who knows, whatever. Anyway, so let's check this out. First off the bat, um, we'll open up the packaging. It comes with some cleaning, whatnot it looks like. It comes with the glass, obviously. Um, this is their UV lamp. I don't know, I mean, it's nothing special. I'm not gonna use it. And their glue, which is here. All right, so we're gonna check all of this out. Now, remember back, if you watched my previous videos, I've said, you know, save um, the white stone thing, jig, you know, whatever you want to call it. Let's make sure I have the right one. I saved mine, so here we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna, obviously that's been the local glue back there, so we're cool. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this same jig, and I'm gonna put it on here, because the cheap one doesn't seem to give you anything like this. So, first things first, take the phone out of the case. Now you can leave it on, like I do. And removing it, I would usually pull from the side that isn't broken yet. And simply just pull it. It's gonna smell. It's gonna look like you busting your phone up. My phone is perfect, as you can see. There's no cracks, there's no damage. I'm gonna throw this broken one over there. I got a bunch of alcohol prep pads. And of course, you're gonna to wanna to throw. Here are the top search results. You're gonna to wanna to throw that right on. Let's clean all that excess glue and you know, whatever you got on here. I'm actually gonna go through two of these prep pads. I like to keep them, keep, keep them on deck. You can buy these on Amazon, like a hundred of them or 200 of them for a couple bucks. Yeah, they're great. Just give the phone a good clean. All right, let's see what we got here inside the package that, they, that this company provides us. Hopefully some, some, some decent stuff of some sort. Eh, a cheap, looks like a cheap microfiber cloth. I mean, it'll get the job done. Now, you gotta remember that you're using, you know, local glue here. I'm actually gonna turn my phone off because it just keeps bugging out. All right, so, turn it off. You wanna, you, know, you wanna make sure you got all the dust off. You wanna make sure you got all the local glue off. We're gonna use one, one, one more prep pad, I think. Let's get this nice and clean. I can feel all of the breeze. Now, normally I wouldn't be going this fast. I'd be taking my time, but yeah, I'm trying to give you guys a, a good video, or at least something, something decent at least. All right, so we get that nice and, we'll call that nice, nice and clean. I'm gonna drop the phone, mm, that was a loud bang. I'm gonna drop the phone into their jig. Thank God I saved it, like I, like I told you guys. Um, it looks like I may have lost the top piece. Mm, take a quick look. I don't even know if we could use it with this glue adapter. I don't think so, but I'm gonna check. Give me one second. I'm sorry, I can't really close it, unfortunately. Mm, yeah, it looks like it's been lost. All right, so I'll just be very careful. All right, I guess we're gonna wing it. All right, so be it, we're gonna wing it. All right, so. You're gonna to wanna to drop. Yeah, just like you would do in the white stone. Now, if you don't have one of these, yeah, I honestly don't know how you, how you would do it, but I mean, this is the way I would do it. And then you're gonna take the little applicator. Um, I didn't really didn't read the directions. You probably should, but pull it. 
it looks like it it like twists off there we go and you know I assume let's make sure before I do do that You want to get all the debris. And then you're going to turn this guy upside down. And we're going to try to get it as middle as possible. And you don't want to get any bubbles. Get a bubble, you got a real problem. I got a little one, but I'm just going to let it. That little one, there's a little one right over there. It's not the best, but I'm going to move it. There we go. All right. Let's try to get all this crap out of the way. Sorry to my messy work environment. All right, so there we go. We're going to get this just like you would do the white stone, get it, get it in the middle. Okay, I'm going to get our tempered glass out of here. Looks very much like the white stone. I hope it, I hope it fits inside this jig or I wasted my time doing all this. It looks like it does. Now, this is the important part, guys. I can't stress this enough. You do not rush this. Bring it down very slowly until it just touches that glue. There we go. Perfect. That's perfect alignment. Now again, you're gonna again slowly. Pull that bad boy out, and we look like we're going to have a good one. And there you go. Looks like there's a little bit less glue in this one than Whitestone gives you. So you're going to let that go. You know, it could go for a couple of minutes. You just want the whole thing to be covered. So, you know, give it, give it time. You know, you could fast forward this part. You guys don't need to watch this. I'm going to use, like I said, I'm going to use the lamp from the Whitestone. Should always save all this stuff because you can pick up the white stone one. I think it's like half the cost as long as you have the jig. And you know, not, I don't even think you need to keep the jig, but I do for a scenario like like this. Still catching up down here, but still going. I'm surprised, honestly. I'll also link down below where I show you guys how you can actually make your own version of one of these. I did it with a, with a um, essential phone, PH1. It's still rocking till today. No problems whatsoever. Um, almost got full adhesion, a little bit down here in, in the edge. I think we got full adhesion, guys. All right, we'll give it another, we'll give it another 30, 30 seconds. Let's do my Apple Watch here. Set timer, 30 seconds. Let's give that baby another, another 30 seconds. Let's clean, I guess I can clean this up. And yeah, no sense in leaving local glue and junk all over the place. Especially when you gotta keep this part, you know, I just pulled away, you wanna keep this away from the, keep, keep this away from the phone. That's 30 seconds. That's the end of that. Primer is done. All right, now for the infamous part. The part that probably takes the most time, and but you gotta do it. So I'm gonna put the UV lamp and start toasting it up. Now I like to do it two times, two times, two times. 
each one, two, like one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here. You don't have to. This is just something that I like to do, and I've done since I had the iPhone X and whatnot. You know, I've done it on every phone so far, and it works for me. I don't have a problem unless I crack it. So, before I did that, the Note 8 glass did peel in the upper corner. And actually, one of my iPhone X ones peeled as well. So doing this, I've eliminated that problem. It seems just to be like a curing issue. Now they sell, if you do a lot of phones like this, they sell much better UV lamps like this that'll do this much faster. But, you know, it's up to you. I mean, this comes with the kit, it's free. And you just keep it. But you see how easy this was that I saved the jig? This thing cost me, like I said, eight bucks. Hopefully it, you know, hopefully it works out. I mean, it would be a great alternative if you guys want to save some money. You know, I'm all about show, showing you guys a deal if I can find one. And a, a, a friend actually to, told me about this. You know, he told me about it that because I was I, I was in China a bit ago, and and he told me about these, and I actually saw them. So I checked, I checked on eBay, and you know, in China they sell for about six bucks. There's no big deal. Even even when I was there, they were like four dollars. And you know, I figured I'll just buy it right here in the U.S. Why why bother, you know, why bother waiting thirty days for an import or carrying it over? And by the time I got home, they were here waiting. I looked at it. I'm like, eh, it's not as good, but I think I could make it work. Hopefully we can see at the end how this works out. Sorry, now you guys probably hate me with this part of it because it takes so long, but it's just part of the part of the process. I should get back to editing my videos where I can speed this up, but it's just so much easier for me to direct up upload since I'm not really doing any, doing anything involved it would take me twice the time when I just want to get a video up you guys can fast forward listen to me chat you know, I'm just talking to myself here kind of kind of weird talking to you guys oh, if you guys got any tips comments that you guys do you know, hit me up in the comments. Give me your ideas. You know, I'll try. I don't. I mean, I honestly don't break this stuff often, but you know, I'll I'll try whenever I get a chance. If you guys got a better tip for me? Now, technically, I'm going to do this bottom panel almost. I guess we can go past it. Or. Maybe not. I just hate that it takes so long. Even my dog is looking at me. He's like, come on. It's a little premature. There we go. One more. And then I'm going to do it one more at the bottom. Whatever. We got this far. <laughs> Might as well do it right. I used a bunch of prep pads. Got all kind of ice. I said I was going to clean up. I still got a whole bunch of junk here. Not throw away my Pataka pen. This microfiber will still keep. And we're still gonna clean it off after we're done here. This should be almost done. And then I'm gonna move it down to the bottom. And you're gonna cure that two more times. Now I'm actually gonna cut it once I take it all off and I turn the phone on, because it's pretty much cured, I'm just gonna see how it touches and then I'm gonna cure it myself. That way I don't have to make the video go on until the end. You guys have seen, seen me do this a few times, so you know, it basically is what it is.
more or less. I'm just curious to see if it works and you know if it stay if it stays on if it's enough glue. We'll see in a minute. But you're gonna follow the same steps. I mean, you're gonna clean it off and when you're done here, you know, just follow follow what I do. There's a little spot I think up here where the glue didn't get. Right up here, I can see with the UV lamp, but you know, maybe it won't be so bad. You could probably fix it. I have probably I have a little bit of local glue. Plus, you can you can buy it. I'll throw a link, and you can put a little underneath there if you really wanted to. But I think it should be okay. This, who really pulls it from there? Usually, it's from edges. I've never had anything pulled from the middle. All right, come on. I want to see how this is. Let's get this prep pad open. The one they, the one they give us, it's probably dried out. Let's say. No. All right. So that's it. That's pretty much, you know, cured. Let's see. I can barely move this. That's pretty much cured. I'm gonna take it out. Now, like I said, now this. Glue could be all over the place. You, know, you don't want to take any chances. It's your $1,000, 900 you know, whatever you paid for this device. You, know, you don't want to play games. And yeah, this prep pad is pretty, uh, pretty dry. We're going to switch over to one of mine. Go, go Amazon. All right, there we go. It's more like it. Yeah, you don't gotta go, you don't gotta go crazy with it, but I just like to clean the excess local glue and whatever glass you got on there. Maybe yeah, you, know, you don't want to scratch your camera lens or anything like that playing around. All right, so that's enough playing here. Let's give it a little wipe. There we go. Local glue is off. Looks like we got a pretty good job here. Let's power that phone on. Oh, like I said, when, when I'm done, you know, showing you guys if everything works, I'm going to, I'm going to cure it again, two times here, two times here, two times here, two times, probably at the very bottom. Yeah, sound works, screen's coming on, that's always a good sign. Um, probably going to ask me for my pin, I'm going to do that off camera. So I thought touch is fine. Everything seems to work. Play style. Yeah, everything works. Edge works. So everything works. Glass feels like glass. Like I said, there's a little section right in here. But I really don't think it's going to make any difference. Alrighty, guys. So if you thought this little video helped, I'm, like, I'm going to link where you can buy these to 8 bucks. I highly recommend that you, if you if you do buy the white stone once, at least so you have the jig. Let you see how easy it made this for me. But I mean, you can play around. I'll show you the video um, that I made for the essential. Alrighty, guys, if you like this video, throw me a thumbs up, please. I'm trying the best I can with what I can. I'm not one of these rich rich YouTubers. I do what I can. Alrighty, guys, see you in the next one. I'm going to drop everything down below if you guys buy it. Alrighty, again, thumbs up, please. Alright, guys, later. Peace.